Hi, this is David from First JTWF Korea, and welcome to DCS filming tutorial. Today, I will go through some of the camera functions in DCS. First, let's take a look at the basic ones. you've seen so far to set various filming angles, and you can apply them in many different ways. Now before we start, let's go over a simple task. What would you do if you want to shoot an aircraft taxiing scene at a low angle? You can simply use your mouse and move the camera to a low angle perspective. However, in DCS, there is a limit to the lower angle due to ground structures, so you cannot place the camera near the ground. Well, I'll show you how to solve this problem. First, open the folder where DCS is installed, then navigate to config, and then to view folder. Now we are going to edit server Lua file. Open the file with any editor that can open the Lua file. Go to the part that says camera train restriction, true. Here, change true to false. Once done, save the file and exit. Now you will be able to change camera angles with no restrictions and can go even lower. You can zoom in using right control and asterisk on number pad, and zoom out using right control and slash. Since we are ready to start, let's look at the table of contents we are going to learn today. In this tutorial, we will briefly cover the features listed above. First, this is the cockpit view that we are most familiar with. In the cockpit, you can move around freely using the keys shown in the top right corner. Try moving around using the keys. You can also press left alt and F1 so that only HUD is visible in the screen. F2 is also a commonly used view. It's hard to make a dramatic scene using this view, but it's useful when filming multiple aircraft. You can press left alt and F2 to place the aircraft elsewhere relative to the screen center. Press left alt and F2 and use the number pad or mouse to change the viewpoint. The angle will be saved by pressing the same keys. When you rotate around the aircraft, you'll see the view rotating with respect to the modified center view. F3 view is There's nothing much to talk about. So let's move on to F4 perspective. From now on, I recommend using track IR or any head tracking equipment for more dynamic expressions. You can move around freely using the keys shown in the top right corner. Try moving around using the keys. Once you're in a good position, all you have to do is start filming and gently move your head around. Here's another example of F4 view. F5 view is used to track nearby aircraft. If F4 view is able to track other aircraft manually, a 5 view tracks the nearby aircraft automatically with respect to the user's location. The applications of the view will be covered in the next episode. Next is F6 view. 
This view tracks released weapons, and is quite useful because of additional effects. Press left shift and J to apply weekly effect and get more dynamic shot. Also, if you press left control and F6, the viewpoint will be fixed on the ground target. It's really simple, isn't it? Then how is the rotated scene made? This view will help my demonstration. First, press F7 and move further away from the ground unit. You can press slash key on the number pad to zoom out. Then use the arrow keys on the number pad to move to the desired angle. Once in place, press left control and right click it to slow down the screen movement speed. Then press left alt and Z to decelerate the time progression. Now use the number pad to rotate the view the way you want it. When you enter free camera mode by pressing left control and F11, you can move the camera forward or backward using the mouse wheel. The altitude of the camera can be fixed by pressing left alt and K. In addition, using padlock key on number pad, you can create custom flyby views. So this is the most used filming method in my videos. Once you get used to it, you'll be able to get many exciting and dramatic scenes. So that's it for today's video. In the next episode, some of the functions that I used in my work will be covered in more detail. I hope this helps your DCS video filming. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.